All right, so kind of just debriefing on, you know, the show. Obviously, we just got back and, you know, I guess most importantly, thank you guys for everything that you did. I think it was a tremendous show. I can tell you that I am never been so happy with how much valuable content that, you know, we delivered and the feedback that we got. Most importantly, what I want to identify is what were our biggest wins for our members or for the show attendees, you know, and I look at some of the comments that came in from Facebook while we were there and the people that came up to me on, you know, the show floor. I mean, that stuff just really makes me feel good. And it's not just about me. I think the industry has thought it's just me at Limo U up until this week, and now they understand, you know, that it's more than just me yeah. behind there. So what, what was your biggest win or what were you, what was the biggest impact for you in, in Vegas? I think the biggest takeaway for me was just getting to meet actual operators. Um, it's definitely going to change the way that I approach content creation going forward, learning about you know their pain points, um, and just also hearing that the content that Limo U is providing for them is actually valuable to them and they are implementing it and experiencing success with it. You know, the, the valuable content like what David posted into our group this morning, I mean, how does that make you feel? You know, how does that make you guys feel? Hopefully it makes you guys feel really good that a lot of people are getting a lot out of this. Yeah, I mean, you always, you, you talk about the data, the data, the data, nothing else matters but the data. And I think that coming back and seeing all of these posts inside of the group and the page and people telling us like what their actual numbers look like. We have this many conversions. We have 0 0.007 cents per video view on Facebook. Thank you, thank you. The, I mean, for me, taking away the data from it and seeing other people actually implementing what we've put out and right. seeing returns on that. I don't make any freaking money off Limo University. Right. Um, you know, this is my 29th uh, limousine conference that I've been to. And just because I lost my voice and I really couldn't interact as much as I wanted to with people. And I think, thank God I had you guys there and Jessica to jump in with, uh, you know, our, the last two sessions that I couldn't mm -hmm. speak. Um, and that's disappointing for me because everybody knows I like to talk to people and hang out and do all that type of stuff. For me, I think I've never really understood the scale in terms of what a small operator looks like compared to a, a larger operator and how those needs are completely different. I mean, I met people who had one limousine. I met a gentleman who, who was super over the moon about going out of town and getting his second vehicle and was so proud of the fact that he was able to get a second vehicle to expand his fleet. So. I mean, I think I knew there was a, a dispar there, there's a scale there, but I didn't understand exactly what that looked like and how that approach for each of those operators is, is very different in terms of acquiring new business. I mean, you take the two car operator, you know, and if he has a limousine, he's mm -hmm. probably lucky if he's doing 50 to $60,000 a year in revenue per right. vehicle. So his total business mm -hmm. versus when we sit down with a Scott Salambrino from Boston Coach, who's a 350, to $400 million company or flight time mm -hmm. that's, you know, probably 150 to $200 million company. It's so different. <clears throat> and I think that's really important, not only for you guys to understand, but for the operators yeah. to understand as well. For me, it was really just the interaction. I mean, a lot of times I was actually behind the camera, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm, I'm following you around, <laughs> just seeing all the different interactions that, that you two were having and that mm -hmm. Bill's having one-on-one -on -one with people or in small groups. Yeah. Just that whole world. I and mean, we spent, I mean, really, like it was like full-time, two weeks before, really working on everything, building up to LCT. But it was probably a, a solid month or two of planning and, and just putting every, all the pieces together. And we go in and we, we have the sessions and we schedule all this stuff, but we don't exactly know what it's going to feel like or look like. Mm -hmm. And so then we go into it and it's like, what's actually going to happen here? Yeah. And the, the interactions, the outcome was just awesome. So, I mean, kind of like we had a couple of people from the Facebook workshop on mm -hmm. Sunday night that actually built from scratch, deployed their ads. And by the time we saw them the next day, we're acquiring customers. The biggest thing for me was what happened on Sunday night, you know, the first night for us between 5 and uh, 6.30. Mm -hmm. You know, for those of you that did not attend, we had a 90-minute workshop where we literally started from scratch and built a Facebook ad and deployed it by the end of the workshop. There's two things that stood out to me. Through the day, everybody kept asking, hey, I know that I had to pre-register, I didn't pre-register, can I come to your session? What do we have another 
30, 40, 50, 60 people sitting in the back. Yeah, it was For them packed. to migrate in, and it might have been 100, 125 people in there, I don't know. Mm -hmm. They wanted to come in even though they couldn't actively build. Mm -hmm. I think her name was Nina Parsons from A Touch of Class from someplace in Ohio. I didn't mm -hmm. get the opportunity to meet her personally. But Nina, I don't think she'd ever built a Facebook ad before, correct? Correct. And she deployed an ad. We built it, deployed it to attract business travelers. Mm -hmm. And when we were going to dinner last, the night after that, on yeah. Monday night, she had already acquired four customers. Nina Parson with the Touch of Class Limousine Service out of Cleveland, Ohio. I took the Limo University Facebook ads workshop yesterday and posted an ad for corporate business. And within 24 hours, I've already booked four new business leads from that ad. So it's fantastic. I would recommend Limo University to everyone. I haven't even checked, and I'm sure I've booked even more business now because it was so phenomenal. I don't think many people know the difference between cold, warm, and hot traffic. It wasn't her existing customers that were booking with her. Mm -hmm. I've been preaching to all of you guys for a year and a half how valuable Facebook ads are, and when you do it right, and you follow the system, it works. There's so much value in even some of the free content that you put out through Facebook Live and like different interactions. I mean, it's just, if people just pay attention to some of that free content mm -hmm. that is actually posted, right? And, I mean, there's so much value just within that. Well, you know, Facebook's great. I know we talk about it a lot. Um, one is because every operator can do it. Mm -hmm. You don't need to have an outgoing personality. You don't need to have a sales background. You don't need to be an experienced entrepreneur like I am to be able to go in and execute. Um, but honestly, I think the most valuable content we put out the entire time we were there was the sales session uh, that we did at three o'clock. Yeah. And, you know, I think that that was probably the lowest attended session uh, yeah. that we had because people think that it, sales is so hard and they're afraid, you know, to go out and sell and kind of back that up with the story that I told on that I don't even know that I shared with you guys about how I acquired um, Philips Healthcare. Mm -hmm. um, you know, being a four car retail company at the time, um, you know, at the members only meeting, and it just takes having the courage and the confidence in yourself to do what I did. I didn't do anything special. All I did was jump on a plane and go to Seattle when I to seize that opportunity, carpe diem. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just, we have these windows to where you either go left, you go right, you say yes, you say no, you do something, you take action, or you do nothing. And it completely changes the outcome of your entire freaking life. Yeah. I mean, you hopped on a plane, you flew there, and still weren't 100% sure that you were actually going to get her business. And so it really is just a matter of like having enough confidence to be like, all right, I'm going to take action and try. Well, the and problem is, is that if you don't take action, if you never try, you're never going to be successful. Yeah. And that's not just in business or going to sell and and close an account. If you don't continue to create value, if you don't take that action, you have the opportunity to learn, you have the opportunity to go and close, you have the opportunity to turn left or turn right. Every decision we have impacts our life. The problem that I see with most business owners, not even just in the limousine industry, is that they sit back and they don't do anything. So I really took that leap of faith and that's what becomes really important in the sales component for any business is how do you qualify a prospect, right? So in that Sunday afternoon session, it was the golden sales question. If I'm fortunate enough to earn your business today and we're sitting here having a 12 month annual review, what would a successful relationship look like? And I was a four car company at that time. I wasn't an $8 million company, I wasn't a $5 million company. That's the message I wanna get across to everybody on that side of the camera that's watching this. It does not matter your size. You can be a two or three or four car company and you can compete with the empires and the musics and the Boston coaches and the Savoyas of the world. You just need the strategical components to go into it. So what would we do different next year? What would you change? What did we not, what could we have done better that we didn't do extremely well? I'd like to see us with a bit more free time in order to do not necessarily one-on-ones, just interaction with, with group members. And I, I think one of the bigger takeaways that I have is just I know people's names, I, I can assign, like we're in the group a number of times a day, the Facebook group, the private Facebook group, and I see Vanessa, I see Anthony, I see David, but when I'm actually standing in front of them and they're saying, no, no, thank you so much for the, the value that you're providing, I have a question, I have a follow-up question about one of the courses, like 
that for me, that, that group mentality is key. For next year, just we did do a great deal of preparation, but I don't think you can ever prepare enough. Um, I know for me, during the Facebook ad build session especially, during it, I just realized how much more valuable it would have been for me had I like gone through that tutorial and just been able to help people on the spot. I feel like I wasn't able to provide enough like on-site assistance to people who were having trouble. Yeah, I think one of the issues that we had was is that our platform, there was, because of the updates that were happening, right. there were differences in the renderings and what people yeah. were seeing yeah. on the platforms. It was kind of bad timing that I don't think we could control. Right, because that was so well attended, I think it would make sense to do multiple ad build sessions over the course mm. of the show. Just because a lot of people, I mean, we had people end up attending who didn't even get to register in the first place. Just to be able to provide more hands-on assistance with people and right. more one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. attention, that kind of thing. Regardless of if it was the Facebook session or any of the other sessions, there was always people that afterwards would come up and they were like, I learned this, mm -hmm. but I, I have a specific question about this. Mm -hmm. And so having something where, you know, it's maybe not one-on-one -on -one sessions, but like an entire hour where people can just hang out, almost like a networking type of event specific to them asking questions to us. Mm -hmm. And I mean, because- Yeah, the problem with that though is, I, and I agree with you 100%, yeah. but the problem is, is just like, the worst attended event that we had was yeah. our Limo U members meeting. And yeah. that's what that format was, right? right? It was really a round table, you know, AMA, ask us anything so we can help you. And literally like 10% of our members showed up. Mm -hmm. Think about our specific, how we talk about specificity and the calls to action that we use in our marketing. And I think that's one of the reasons why our sessions on Sunday were 100%. Every session was basically 100% filled, if not yeah. over capacity, because it's very specific. Uh, I, I think you're exactly right. I mean, uh, coming away from for me, I just have like a thousand ideas of, of how we can prov provide like bite-sized uh, bits of value, bits of information. I mean, especially on a social media, on a, on a Facebook front, the amount of questions that were varied, mm -hmm. it, it wasn't like all about retargeting. It wasn't all about any one specific thing. I think if we could open up some type of forum once a week, to whatever question that you have in terms of, hey, you just built out your first your first ad. What what questions do you have? What kind of follow up? Yeah. I just a, a bunch of different scenarios in my head that as a team, once we can kind of decompress and get everything from LCT up and running, I, I think we have a good opportunity to really expand our footprint in terms of, of helping people out throughout the, the build of their ads. You have to do the work in order to mm -hmm. get the benefits. Like it's not just gonna happen for you. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna work unless you do. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's a sales system, if it's right. Facebook, if it's AdWords, if it's conversion, affiliate building, whatever it is. Everybody that's taken action and has actually implemented and followed the system has been successful. The biggest value point of being in lab is that private group on Facebook where you can ask your peers, ask your fellow Limo U members, I'm about to launch an ad, what do you guys think of this? I have this issue, what are some of the solutions that you guys have? One of the big takeaways from one of the members that we have to figure out a way mm -hmm. to make them more comfortable. The limousine operators have a big problem when there is multiple companies within the same market. Mm -hmm. Irregardless if it's New York or Charleston or Des Moines, Iowa or Nashville, mm -hmm. right? And I don't know that we're gonna be able to make them comfortable with that. So that's something that we have to try to figure out. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know that we can, but we gotta to try to figure out a solution to make them comfortable or bridge that gap. I think the big takeaways for us and probably the most important thing, we just shared some of the things that, you know, we are gonna to try to do better because we always wanna improve, mm -hmm. but I wanna hear from you. Please leave a comment below. We are, we will be at, the Leadership Summit in Miami. We will be at LCT East in Atlantic City. We are planning a live boot camp in this office in Nashville for either August or early September for a very limited number of people. Specificity is critical as you've heard us talk about. I want to specifically know what you want help with, what we can do better for you, what you would want us to work on. You can send a message to me privately, you can email me, you can leave a comment. 
down below because if you're not a member of LimoU, you know you probably don't know that we generate all of our content based on your requests. Mm -hmm. So that's the way I kind of want to wrap up this video is to ask you for your feedback. What did we do well if you attended LCT? What can we do better and how can we help you in the future? Yeah. And we look forward to seeing you very soon.